Hello and welcome back to another Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope Challenge. This is the month of May and full disclosure, I played a little bit with shimmer brushes and kind of didn't realize my papers for my mystery envelope were inside. So some of them have some ink on them, but it's okay. We're going to be able to work around them for the project I'm going to do. So this month's mystery envelope came from Dawn and it's a good one. It says your challenge for May, create a project with the enclosed supplies and these rules. Create a mixed media background or piece using paste, watercolor, pearls, gels, shimmer, or gloss. So we're going to be using, oh, I put them away. I got to grab them again. My, um, uh, we'll be using some pearls and then with a method of your choosing stencil painting splatter spatula etc we're going to use some splatter with the gloss spray on any surface watercolor paper cardstock craft etc we're going to be making a card a fun fourth of july card and it says if you'd like to use larger pieces of the pattern papers from your stash you may use any cardstock, ink, stamps, and or Cricut cuts you choose. And since these papers come from the, and I'm losing my mind on what they're called, um, bear with me. I just went blank. Um, Hello Darling, sorry. These are from the Hello Darling Darling paper pack. I thought it would be fun to use the Hello Darling digital art. So we're going to do some Cricut cuts on that gonna edit one of the um, pieces that come in that digital art to fit the card I'm going to make. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. And let's get started. Hello, okay, here is my, um, close to my heart site. And what I wanna show you is the digital art. So if you just go to um, my website, you can click on shop and come on and then if you scroll down to digital art most of our paper packs have a digital collection that you can use in your Cricut or your silhouette or whatever cutting program you use because they're they are all in SVG files I am using the hello darling digital art collection so when you click on that you get all of these fun shapes and um, layouts. If you watched my uh, layout from earlier in the month, I used the Hey Handsome and we did a layout on that. This is a um, intended to be a slimline card. We're going to edit that. Um, so I just wanted to show you that I have already uploaded all of these to my design space. So basically once you purchase them, then you go to your account, you download them. Um, I save them all on my desktop and then you just come over into design space. You click on upload. <laughs> my computer is slow, slow, slow. Okay. So you click on upload. And then you'll click on upload image, just drag the image in, it will upload it. It's already named all of that. So I've got them all in here already. I'm going to use this celebrate image. So we're just going to click on that and add it to my canvas. So I did, like I said, this is a slimline card. I'm not making a slimline card. Did you know that Close to My Heart now has 5x7 cards? I'm wanting to make a 4th of July 5x7 card using these papers that came in my mystery envelope and this, just the celebrate part. So if I ungroup this, you'll see, oh, I have to click off a bit. Um, I have the blue piece and then the white piece or the red piece. Then I have the words. And then I have what would fold for the card. I need the, just this white piece behind it to hide, you know, that's going to be the base. And I don't, I don't need this piece here at all. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to delete the fold line. 
So the fastest way for me um, to get what I what I need to have happen is I'm going to take this piece right here and I'm going to just duplicate it. And then I am going to click on contour. And I'm going to hide all contours. And then that's going to make it the perfect size for what I want right here. But I don't want it to be blue. I want it to be white. So we're just going to click up here and change it to white and then we are going to arrange it and send it to the back. So now it's the perfect, gonna be the perfect size. So the next part is I, I don't wanna to have to try and set all these letters myself. I, I would rather just set, you know, a couple little pieces that are inside the B, the R and the A so that's four pieces versus all those other little pieces. So I'm going to just click and drag over this. And I am going to align it horizontally. So now it's centered on there. And because... <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> I'm going to try to explain this. If I click on the word celebrate and I hold down my shift key and I click on the square, I do not get the slice option because you can only slice one, one piece into another piece, so two pieces total. So I'm going to start with the C and I'm going to hold down my shift key and click on the back piece and it's still not letting me because I need to ungroup these. Sorry, I missed a step. So now my letters are all completely separate. So I can click on the C hold down my shift key, click on the red background, I can slice. Slice. Um, so I can now remove this C and remove this C and then I can go to the E and the red piece and slice. I don't know why I have two of those, but we do. And I know why we have two of those. It's because my red piece is now in the front and I need it to be in the back. So now we have all of our letters there. So we can delete these as we're taking them out. Now you can click on the L and the red piece and slice. Delete, delete, and then I just keep moving my red piece to the back. And moving stuff out of my way. Come to the next E, red piece, slice. Takes a little longer on my computer, but it does save me time in my assembly of what I'm gonna do. Move this to the back. And the reason I'm doing that is so you can see all the letters. The B red piece. I'm just holding the shift key down when I'm clicking on that the second red background piece. And you'll see my letters are getting smaller over here on my on my layers tab. They're they're um, they're going away because they're getting cut out. So you can edit any of these images um, to fit your needs, and so that is what I am I am doing. Oops, not what I wanted to do. So undo. I didn't want to move that. I want it all to stay lined up. So I want this one to go away. I want this one to go away. 
basically want the slice results to go away because we don't need them. But because I had um, moved this forward on accident, that, that E is, oops, is still not there. Interesting. So we will back up a minute, bring that E back in because evidently I didn't slice it. And you can hit, just keep hitting back up until, so see, now it's here. And now here, and slice. I've been doing this for a long time. Even I make mistakes and I have to undo. So now I can delete my slice result and this slice result and it's there. <laughs> not that. Did not want to delete that. Now I can do the A, move this back so that we can see it again. Now click on the A, now click on this and slice. Sometimes I get going faster than as I'm thinking things through. So that's how I end up having to do that undo. But that's okay. So here, arrange, send back. Got two left. And I always tell everybody play with your design space, you're not going to break it. So See what I'm doing here? I'm just playing with stuff. I make a mistake, I hit back, and um, it's okay. I'm not breaking anything. You don't like what you, the result you get? Hit undo. Okay, so now we have all of our letters cut out. And then I can just put this on here. Actually, I want to move the blue one. So now we click on the blue layer. And I'm going to say arrange, bring to front. And now I don't even have to try and line it up myself. I can just click and drag over. So it puts a temporary binding box on them. I can then align them horizontally and align them vertically, and it's all set. But I do want to. Um, I want to group them because we're going to be sizing and I want everything to stay the right size and I want it to stay um, consistent with my card. So my card front is five by seven and I technically did not need this white piece behind here because my card front is white, but I want it on there for a little bit more um, stability when I'm placing it on the card. Um, it's just going to make it easier to assemble it as three pieces and then put it on the card <clears throat> as which is one solid piece. But if you want to omit that that white layer, you absolutely can. I just like the feel of more layers on my project. Now I'm going to um, have to decide: Do I want this to be um, a vertical or a portrait or a landscape card? And I think I'm going to go landscape on this so it will be seven inches wide. I think we're going to see what this what this does. So because I have it, um, um, let's see this lock right here. This means it's it's the aspect ratio is locked. So if I change the width, it's going to proportionately change the height. So um, when it cuts, it will all still be um, that's the word I'm looking for sized correctly. Um, I can I can say size it a couple ways. I can go this way, or I can unlock this, and I can make it wider without making it taller, or I can make it taller without making it wider. So just having it locked um, really 
keeps things correct. So I'm going to just back up this until it's back to my five by seven sizing that I had. Okay, so we're actually at like seven and 2.882, so that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and send this to my Cricut and cut it, and then we will, um, sh I, you know, we'll go back to my tabletop so we can assemble and show you my project. Thanks for checking this out so far. Hey everyone. Okay, so everything's cut. I have left my letters here for ease of taking them off um, to fill in the little parts of the B, the R, the A after I assemble the card front. Um, some things I did off camera is I cut a piece of candy apple and to five by seven to fit the card front. And then I cut some strips out of the paper that Dawn provided that I'm going to make little um, I don't know what they're called. Uh, I'm gonna dovetail them and put them on here. And I grabbed some silver shimmer trim that we're gonna use as well. So to start, I'm going to just start assembling our Cricut cut. And of course I have no adhesive in here that is easily where is all my adhesive? I have tons of adhesive. So I'm just going to grab the liquid glue and run it on here. To put this together. And I made some changes, like I said, um, initially that the white card stuck. I wouldn't need to cut it because it would show um, on the card front, but I'm not gonna use white. I'm gonna actually put that uh, candy apple on there. So I do need the white behind it, and then this is gonna go right on top. bothered by my adhesive. I have like 15 different adhesive things and none of them are here. I know where some are, but others not. Do you do that? Is your craft room a mess too? Mine always is. In fact, I had someone in here yesterday. We had um, my husband's aunt and uncle were in from out of town and just stopping by for a little bit and she's like, oh, I want to see your craft room. And I was like, oh, it's a mess. But I showed her. Gosh, I love that. That is so cute. Now I'm going to grab insides of my letters and I have these really fine point um, tweezers from close to my heart and I can't find those either I wonder if my child has been in here don't tell her I said that So I'm going to, instead of putting the glue on this, I'm going to just put a dot in here and put this on top of it. You know, you may find it easier to put all the individual letters down. I don't. I find it easier to work with fewer smaller pieces and um, put those down. But you could have, you know, you could have left these to cut each individual letter if you wanted to. Do what works for you. I 
I need to find my little tweezers. They're from close to my heart. They're the best tweezers ever. And I use them so much, that's why I can never find them. I'm gonna have to order some more. They're super, super fine tip and they're just my favorite. It's gonna be impossible to get this piece. If I had the little tiny fine tip ones, it'd be easy. Okay, there is my Celebrate. I'm gonna set this off to the side. So I'm not gonna be using that anymore. Um, I'm going to grab, oh, bear with me. My, um, I think this is called Versa Mat, all-purpose mat, I don't know. Things flip, you know, it won't stick to it. So whether it's adhesive or this shimmer, um, glossy spray, it doesn't, it won't, it'll wipe right off. So just cover your workspace with it and it will come off. Oh my goodness. I should have tried to open this before. Okay, we'll spritz. So I'm just going to lightly, I was going to tap. Oh, now my spritzer's not gonna work. Okay, I'm having issues. <laughs> so I had to grab my husband open it sorry um my spritzer didn't the you know the pumpy thing on here doesn't work and I don't know why which is fine because that's not what I wanted to do I want to tap it and you'll see this bladder goes everywhere so you really want to have one of these mats behind it to protect your workspace. And then I'm going to set this aside to dry and move this aside so I can clean it off. So the next thing I wanted to do is I want this to go across the bottom of my card, but I want it to line up and the pieces we were given are not long enough. I'm trying to get to remember how this went. And remember I spilled, I got ink on it. So I'm going to just grab some washi tape and put on the back of one of them because they're not going to line up to be perfect um, on the width. And I don't want the tape to show, but it's going to hold it in place so I can cut it to um, be even on these sides. So I'm just going to put another little piece on here. I'm making messes, but this is what I do. Okay, so now I'm going to just I need to cut off that ink stain from where I was playing with the shimmer brush. And I don't want it to be a super wide piece. So I'm gonna go um, about three quarters of an inch. And they're still together, perfect. So once I adhes uh, put adhesive and stick them down, it's not going to matter. I'm gonna grab a glue 
I had, like I said, I had 100 of these, and I need to open one. Except for this is a refill. Is this a refill? It says glue tape, but there's no back, so it has to be a refill. And I don't have any of these here. So, I'll just grab one of these. Bear with me. I am not being organized today. And for that, I apologize. This is a mini tape runner, and it will work fine. Okay. So now we have this piece and it's mostly dry. Um, so instead of flipping it over and putting adhesive, I'm going to put adhesive on this and then put this down on my card front. Should have paid attention and not grabbed a mini. This will be okay. And now this is going to go right here. Helps if you get it even. I hope my hair's not in the way. So now I'm gonna put this piece that isn't, I haven't cut it to width yet, or you know, the seven inches. Forgot to do that. Well, you know what? We'll just do it the cheater way. Do you know the cheater way? I'm gonna just put some adhesive on the back and let that end hang over, and I'll trim it. And then I want my fine tip scissors again. I'm going to just cut some of these. I've already pre cut them for width. Did a bunch of different things. And I'm going to dovetail them. And your bottoms don't, don't have to be um, perfect because you're going to cover them with that shimmer trim. And I just did random um, heights for them as well. And I'm just going to align them in a fun little pattern, nothing set in stone. I 
that one on the wrong side, but that's okay. It's all going to be okay. The reason I switched these up is I didn't want the two blues on top of each other. And this one I'm gonna put over here. And just gonna pop that up here. And then we're going to run the shimmer right along the bottom of this tip with your shimmer trim, leave a tail. Always leave a tail. So I'm going to overhang it a little bit. And then I'm going to pull the backing back and cut the shimmer trim, not the backing. So I want to have that tail on there. And then I will cheater trim it on the back. There is my mystery envelope card. It took a little bit to get there. I'm a little off sorts tonight. I don't know why everything is going wrong you haven't seen everything that went gone went wrong off camera but that's okay i like the way this ended and i really 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 love these uh digital artworks from close to my heart so i will put links to everything and oh i totally forgot i also have to use the pearls i apologize so for the pearls this was my plan can you see the little cuts that um, the Cricut made. Um, my goal was to put the liquid pearls in each little dot here. Doesn't take a lot. It actually doesn't even take very long to do. And I, um, off camera, I had taken my Cricut tool and punched out the little pieces that didn't completely cut out. The idea here would be not to smear it. So make sure you're working, oh, you know, I'm left-handed, so I'm working right to left so that my hand is not coming back over the top of it. So if I'm gonna tell the truth, I actually started this process about three hours ago. And it normally does not take me this long and it did, would not have taken this long. I was having um, computer issues, and then it was time for dinner and we have a storm coming in, which if you're in Nevada, you know our, our little winter spring storms that we get. And my internet was going up and down. So I was just having all kinds of technical issues and this should not have taken as long as it did. but things happen. I am in my craft room. I am having fun. So that is all that really matters. Yeah. So that makes it look a whole lot better. I'm glad I remembered to do that before I shut off the camera. 
So there it is. We have the shimmer trim. We have our splatter with our glossy spray and then the liquid pearls, which I really do have to start using more of. This one needs to be a little bit bigger. So there you have it. I hope you liked it. Hope you can forgive my frazzledness today. And I would be honored if you would click the subscribe button and get notified each time I post a new video. And be sure and check out the other Makers with Hearts videos as well. They are all releasing today as well. Our um, mystery envelopes, those all release on the 25th. And then starting on the 10th of the month through the 17th, we release our normal monthly videos, one each day. So thanks for checking this out, and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day.